Okay, let's see how we can do an intercommunication between containers in Docker, right? So for this, I have created two applications. Uh, both these applications are in Spring Boot. Okay, one is consumer application, uh, which will try to access data from another application. Uh, the other one is producer application, okay? So this is just a simple application, if you can see here. Uh, it has nothing, it will just return me this string okay and this string will be taken by a my consumer application okay and it will just display it okay so just let me run this So this data is coming from my consumer application whereas this one it is coming from the producer application okay so let's, and now what we want to do is we want to containerize this right so let's first containerize it and see if you know they are able to talk to each other afterwards or not okay so this is on port 8080 so if I show you my uh, consumer okay so in my consumer uh, I have this get data method okay which is uh, uh, just you know it is uh, using this, uh, rest template and it is just calling this endpoint of, of producer service URL and this I have defined in my application dot properties okay it is here so localhost 9090 right and on localhost 9090 uh, my producer application is running okay yep so if you see here so this is the port is 1990 okay and uh, yeah this is being returned okay so now let's dockerize these okay and let's see what happens So I'm giving a tag name of producer here. Okay. Yep. This is done. And let's containerize the other one as well. both are done now let's try to run both these okay okay so first let's see the docker images these are present here with consumer is here and producer is also here okay so now let's run both of these to the consumer okay let's run it on 8080 because previously also it was running on 8080 right yep it's on 8080 okay now yeah. okay so this this tells us that uh, this is our host port this is our this will be you know the dockerized uh, the port inside the docker right and this is our uh, container okay now this port is already running so we got this uh, error now let me just stop this okay let's try that again
this one is the right consumer is the now it's time to up the prints let's run this one 1990 okay again same issue this is started okay now let's try to hit our 8080 port like before and see you know if we get the same response yep we got the same response so this means uh, that somehow the network uh, which is being used by both these application is on on it's on the same network basically okay uh, so now let's do one thing let's try to stop it again and let's run it again okay and let's just hope that you know these uh, both these go on a different network right because usually uh, this does not happen often uh, you won't get the same networks uh, you you it could be possible that two containers have started on two different networks okay so let's check this once again this is on the same network okay one second let me run another another one as well so let me stop this okay let's do one thing yeah let's change the port now okay so host port i'll be using 80 and uh, you know the internal port uh, would remain the same okay so let's try that maybe that would change uh, the you know the networks okay so let's keep the this port as 80 for consumer Similarly, this we can put as 90, okay. Let's try now. So now uh, we have our consumer running on 80, 80 for the host and 80, 80 on the docker, okay. Let's try that. So this won't work now, obviously. So now let's try 80. Now, as you can see, we got this error, white label page error. Okay, and now let's go here and here if you see connection refused. So now basically what happened, what has happened is uh, these have like both of these containers are running on different networks now. Okay, so now, now how do we resolve this? Okay, so, so there's one way what we can do is we can create our own network okay and attach these containers to that right and then when we run it uh, we won't be facing this issue okay so let's create a new network first we are uh, keeping the driver as bridge okay Let's name it producer consumer. Okay. Yep. So our network is created. Yep. Producer consumer. It is here, right? Now what we can do is now we have to decide what are we going to name these containers at first. Okay. So so now uh, let's say this. Uh, this is my consumer right and consumer will try to access the producer 
so i'll definitely name the producer as producer and consumer as consumer okay so now let's stop this okay, so let's stop this okay now whatever the name you want to give that would be used as your ip okay uh, to in, uh, to interact uh, internally inside docker okay so here if you see i have given here local host okay so instead of that i want to give the producer because this is going to be the ip of the producer container okay so i'll show you how so here okay uh, sorry docker run dash publish okay now sim we'll do similar like we had done before okay 8080 now this is the host 80 is the host 8080 is docker uh, now we have to give the name right what should be the name the name should be what we are deciding beforehand right so this is my uh, consumer application so i am i'll name it consumer and i also have to attach it to the network okay which i have just created okay and now the name of the container so this is consumer okay one more thing before doing this first we'll have to also build it because otherwise you know the war file won't uh, get these values reflected okay so let's build it first now the war is built okay so now let's do that okay let's remove the container let's try this again okay this is up similarly let's do this here docker run publish 90 9090 okay name name i want to let's give it as consumer sorry producer yeah this will go this will behave as the ip right network is producer consumer okay and now finally the name of the pod right which is producer okay again again same issue the pod is already created so let me remove it okay now let's try this again yeah so now let's try to access this application again okay so this is now on our host 80 right okay, there is again some issue let's see what the issue is okay see here this this is the address okay but uh we we have changed the address right we have given the address is producer so let, let's first check the network okay what let's inspect the network what does it have uh, are the new containers attached to it or not let's check that so if you can see here the containers the consumer and producers these are attached here okay but now the problem again is here it has not this one is not reflected okay so let's try this one more okay i think yeah i think we again had to build it we did not uh, do the build part uh, build i uh, means uh, build by docker okay so let's do that
now let's stop this okay now again when we run this first we have to remove inspect the network once more okay the network has producer it has consumer as well okay now let's check yep we got our data okay so when we come here see now here this is just the sys out which I had done earlier so uh, we have our producer now the producer is the IP of the producer is coming from here okay now if you see now this is like a TNS and this it is returning this so this is how you know without anything uh, just simply creating a network or uh, you can easily uh, attach your containers to it and uh, make an inter communication between the containers do uh, uh, inter communication between these containers inside your docker okay thank you guys